Hey, I'm Dr. Crystal with Athletes Potential, and we're gonna go over the pelvic floor model. It's really good to have an awareness of this area and to know how to fully contract and lift and how to fully relax. No matter what your gender is, we all have a pelvis, we all have pelvic floor muscles, and so it's really good to just tune in to this space. And I challenge you to follow along with me and see if you can activate these certain areas. So to get oriented, this is the front of the pelvis. This is our pubic bone. On the back, this is our spine, sacrum, and tailbone. And then on the bottom, the bones that we're sitting on are called our ischial tuberosities, or I call them our sits bones. Our pelvic floor muscles, or our pelvic diaphragm, connects all of those bony tissues together. But we can bias certain fibers, either by our posture or by con uh, contracting and making a uh, muscle contraction. So to activate the anterior fibers, wherever you're sitting, I want you to act like you're stopping the stream of urine. So fully relax everything, your pelvic floor, and then see if you can stop the stream of urine. If you can, then you're able to activate the anterior fibers. So go ahead and relax from that. Now let's move on to the posterior fibers. So I want you to act like you're stopping from passing gas. If you're somewhere in a crowd of people and you really don't wanna let it out, how would you hold it in? and then relax. So if you can differentiate that from the front, from the anterior fibers, and you're able to really get that posterior fiber activation. And so now I want you to imagine like you're squeezing your sits bones together. They're not actually gonna come together, but imagine that the muscles right here are going to squeeze in together. What this is not doing is squeezing your glutes really tight so that you lift upward. It's just having the glutes relaxed. You can feel your perineum on the surface you're sitting on, and then just go ahead and squeeze and lift. So it's kind of like a combination of the anterior and posterior fibers, you get that middle. Now to put it all together, let's see if we can contract each section all at the same time to give us our pelvic floor lift. So go ahead and relax your pelvic floor down onto the surface you're sitting on, and then take a deep breath in, relax. As you exhale, let's lift everything up, 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 and then let it go. Good. So it's gonna take some practice, but you can do this in a seated position. I'm sitting on the corner of a table so that I can feel my perineum on the surface. It's good to do on a stability ball. You can also do it lying on your back if you're having a harder time connecting to these muscles. And then to progress that, you can try all of this in standing. And then with standing, you can also try it with a more forward lean posture to bias the anterior fibers or you can try it in a more posterior lean posture to bias the posterior fibers, depending on what you need. Thanks for watching.